Before we start this course, I just want to do a quick run through some of the features of the Udemy interface so that you can get the best out of any courses you take on Udemy. If you are an experienced Udemy user, simply skip the rest of this video. I'll start off by enrolling in this free course created by Udemy so that you can see what happens right from the beginning. Once you've enrolled and clicked on the Go to Course button, you land on the dashboard for the course. In the dashboard header, you can continue to Lecture 1. After you've completed a lecture, the Udemy software will automatically remember where you left off. So next time, this will say Continue to Lecture and then wherever you left off. This progress bar will also tell you how far you are along in this particular course. Immediately below the page header, you'll find some tabs. In this overview tab, you can see recent activities such as questions or announcements. Some information about the course, like how long the course is going to take you, a course description and a bit about the instructor. In this next tab, Course Content, you'll find the course curriculum. I always recommend watching all the videos in order so that you don't miss vital concepts covered in earlier videos. But if you want to skip a lecture or go back to a lecture to refresh your memory, click on a section container to open it and then click on the title of any lecture to be taken directly to that lecture. Let's go back to the dashboard. In this Q&A tab, you can ask questions about the course, but please watch the course before asking for assistance because there's a good chance that your problem has been fully explained within the course. You can also do a quick search to see if your question has already been answered. If you do need to ask a question, open the Ask a Question tab. There's a link at the top to connect to Udemy support in case you're experiencing technical glitches to do with Udemy's web management system like video playback issues. Try to be as specific as possible when asking questions. For instance, the answer to your question may be different for Mac users than it would be for Windows users. You can even take a screenshot of your problem and upload the images here. Type a quick message for context, click on the image icon in the messages menu and choose the image file from wherever you saved it to on your computer. Then wait a moment for it to upload. You can add multiple images if it helps to explain your problem. While you're watching a lecture, you have the ability to mark places in the videos that you want to come back to and they'll show up in this bookmarks tab. We don't have any as yet, but I'll show you how to set one up shortly. This announcement tab holds any announcements that have been generated by your instructor. And then this last tab has a drop down menu with some other options. Most instructors send out announcement emails alerting you to any updates to the course or promotional emails for upcoming courses, but you can unsubscribe from those emails by unchecking the boxes here. With the exception of the Mac Store and the Android Store, which are not controlled by Udemy, Udemy has a No Questions Asked return policy. This course we're looking at is obviously not refundable because it was free, but if it were a paid course, there would be a link here to go to a refund menu. So if you bought a course on your computer and you want to return it, don't feel bad. If you start a course and find that the content is not what you expected, get a refund and try another course that suits you better. Lastly, while we're still in the screen, you have an option to rate and review the course. If you just want to leave a rating, you can do it right here. This goes up in half star increments, so be careful that you get the rating that you want. Then you can hit this rate this course button if you want to leave a written review. Once again, you can rate here, 
write out a review if you want to. This helps the course to be found by other potential students, but if you don't like writing reviews, you are under no obligation at all. Fill in this questionnaire if you want to. These questions change from time to time and they might not necessarily apply to all courses. So please don't feel that you need to give a lower rating because a course lacks a quiz or something that does not suit the type of course you are enrolled in. Very early in a course, you will be prompted by Udemy to leave a review and you may be pestered a couple more times during the course. Please do not punish the course creator for disrupting your flow with this Udemy feature by leaving a half-star review. Simply hit the Not Ready button or the Don't Ask Again button. You can rate or review any time during the course, so don't feel under pressure. And if you change your mind or want to add to your review, you can go back and change it. So let's open a lecture and have a look at the video interface and controls. I'll just pause the video. Firstly, I've had students complain that part of the video is obscured by options that are superimposed on top of the video. To remove them, simply move your cursor off the video. To return to the dashboard, hover your cursor over the video and select Go to Dashboard. Let's go back to the lecture again and pause the video. Hover your cursor over the top left hand corner and you'll see a list icon that will open a list of the lectures in the curriculum. And you can skip to a different lecture by selecting its title here. If you see this little download icon, it means there is a downloadable resource available. Click on its title and it will download to your computer automatically. Click on the X to close this menu and return to the lecture. In the bottom left hand corner, besides the play and pause buttons, if you hover over the speed options button, you can adjust the speed. If your instructor is going too fast for you, set it to around 0.75. And if you want to speed things up, go to 1.25 or even 1.5. This is handy if you're trying to find a particular point in a video or if you already know how to do a thing but you want to see if the instructor mentions something over and above what you already know. Don't forget to set it back to 1 if you start a different course. Please be aware that the speed at which you are able to watch videos is dependent on the speed of your own server as well as the quality you have set the video to here, which we'll come to in a moment. These 15s will skip forwards 15 seconds or back 15 seconds. If you click on Browse Q&A, your video will pause while you ask a question or search if your question has already been asked and answered. Feel free to answer other people's questions if you know the answer or have an opinion. Click on the X to resume your lecture. I'll just pause the video again. Then to add a bookmark, click on the bookmark button and then give your bookmark a description. Hit enter to save it. Anytime you want to see it, just hover over it and its description will display. Then if you go back to the dashboard and open the bookmarks tab, you'll see a list of all your bookmarks. We only have the one, but if we had many, you could click on any bookmark in your list to be taken to the lecture containing the bookmark. You can find the exact bookmark by hovering over each of the white markers in the progress bar until you see the description you're looking for. Of course, you can also scrub your progress button along the progress bar to pinpoint where you want to be in a video. Back in the bookmarks, hit the bin icon to delete a bookmark. If you're in the middle of a lecture and find you already know the contents, hit this continue button to skip to the next lecture. The next icon is for closed captions. This course has multiple language options because it was created by Udemy themselves and they have the resources to get their transcripts translated and closed caption files generated. 
On most courses, you'll find automatically generated closed captions in English. This feature is fairly new and not all lecturers have caught up with editing them, so please be patient if they are not exactly right. Choose the language you want and that's what the captions will look like. This next icon is a volume control. Don't forget, the sound is also adjustable via your computer's operating system, so if you're not getting the result you want on here, you might have to adjust the sound on your computer as well. Open this gear icon to adjust the playback quality of your videos. By default, it will probably be set to 720p high definition. In some courses, you might see an option to set this to 1080p, which will be nice if you're watching on a large screen with very fast internet speed. But if you find that your videos are stopping and starting too much, drop down to 720p or even lower. But be careful because the lower you go, the more the resolution of the video and therefore the quality of the playback of the video will drop. If the text on your screen becomes fuzzy, you need to set it back to a higher setting. If you see this download lecture option, it means that the instructor has chosen to make the videos downloadable. I cater mostly to writers and content creators who work in all sorts of places with unreliable internet, so I make my videos downloadable for offline viewing. Just click on the link and they will download as an mp4 file with the title of the lecture. But many lecturers are afraid of having their courses pirated, so you will not find this option on all courses. I hope this improves your watching experience and I hope you learnt a trick or two and now let's get on with the course.